internet, what is up? My name is Jenna. If you don't know me, hey, hi, hello. So, it's like 9 p.m. I got ready at 7 p.m. I've been drinking coffee uh, in the late, late evening, so I am awake. I showered for the first time in like three, four days today, and I self-tanned and I did my makeup, and you know, I'm just feeling, feeling really good like that, and like a person again, and because I feel like a person, and it's a Saturday night, and I would typically be getting ready to like, I don't know, go, go out, uh, be social, and that's not going to happen, I thought it'd be kind of fun to get a little dressed up and show you guys the dresses that I never got to wear this year. So whether it be like formals, um, graduation, um, anything else, uh, I have so many dresses that I've either worn once or I never wore at all and they still have the tags on because our year got cut short. I was ready to thrive second semester senior year of college but it's 2020, so why would we let that happen? <laughs> Literally crying on the inside right now, but I love watching videos of like people trying on, especially like dresses and things like that for formals and date parties and all that. Although date parties are typically a theme, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I didn't have a formal this year and I had a fake formal photo shoot and I, photoshopped my friends in a photo with me. My food is ready. And that was the extent of my formal. Overall, I really don't spend that much money on dresses. And I feel like they're pretty cute. So let me eat real quick and then go through the dresses that I never got to wear. So I'm giving them a purpose and I don't feel as bad for having dresses with tags on in my closet. I'm gonna eat, I'm starving. I'll be back in like a few minutes, okay. Um, I, it's the next day, I filmed this over two days, yeah, that doesn't matter. Anyways, okay, so these are a bunch of dresses that I never had the chance to wear or have yet had the chance to wear. There are six dresses that have bought for occasions or I got because they were a good deal and let's go through each and every one of them. To start us off, there is my formal dress, which is this pink and white polka dotted dress. I got this a very long time ago. I think I got it over the summer, maybe? Yes, I definitely got it over the summer because I brought it to Vegas with me and I ended up not wearing it, but I think I paid maybe $5 for it and it is from Von Mar. Von Mar sales are incredible. They have the best sales and really good quality stuff. I love that dress, super comfy, and I wore it to my fake photoshopped formal. The next dress is this pink uh, cross dress. I got it on Amazon for, I think it was $25. I did wear it for recruitment, but I was planning on like possibly wearing it again for something and there was nothing to wear it for. But Amazon, I'm surprised at how nice it was. I got it in a size small. It's called the Verdusa, V-E-R-D-U-S-A, women's Sexy ruched side asymmetrical v-neck bodycon cami dress pink and small. That's the one. The next dress that I got is my red dress gala dress that I was planning on wearing to red dress gala. I'm in alpha feed. Red dress gala got canceled this year. So it is from Forever 21. It is a size medium and I paid $14.99 for it. Um, but then I definitely did find it for like way cheaper because Forever 21 closed and everything was like half off. So I spent more than I should have, but yeah. It's a little big on me, but it's a, it's that bodycon shape, so I'm not used to seeing myself in that type of like shape where it's like longer and whatever. It's hard to figure out a bra to wear with it because it's like low, but the straps are so thin. But like, because it's low, you can't wear a, t a standard strapless bra with it. That's a little bit challenging, but it's a really great red color and I love like the stretchy straps. Um, they're super like trendy and comfy to wear. My graduation dress is the next one. I will be wearing it in August. That's when that's happening. 
It is this white lace dress from Forever 21. It's a size small and I paid $27.90 for it. I bought it probably like a year and a half ago. I saw it, I loved it, it fit, and I was like, yeah, this is what I want. I, wanted, I knew I wanted to wear white for graduation, and when I saw it, I just knew that I had to get it, so I've been holding on to it. I've never worn it, still has the tags on, but I will finally be getting the chance to wear it in a few months, so I included it in this video. Another dress that I've had for a while and I've worn once is this pink free people dress. I got it at Nordstrom Rack. I don't know how much it was. I think it's like a size small. I don't know much about it. I wore this dress once, but it was like years ago. And then I've never worn it again. It's cute. It's a little see-through. So it's hard to like figure out what to wear underneath it, but. This last dress is a BCBG dress from, I think I got it at Bloomingdale's. It's a size four and the tag says that it's $108. I know for a fact I did not pay that. I think I paid somewhere around like between like 40 and 60 for it. I got it on like clearance maybe two years ago and I've never worn it. It still has the tags on. I just haven't had the opportunity to wear it yet. It's definitely like a nicer dress. So like I wouldn't wear it to the formal, but I'd wear it to something nicer. I don't know. It's so cute. I love the lace detailing. It's really just like flirty and feminine and yeah. Those are all of the dresses that I have not had the chance to wear yet. Hopefully once the world turns back on, I'll get a chance to wear it maybe. I don't know, we'll find out, but I'm glad that at least the internet got to see these dresses in action. And by that, I just mean me wearing them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it and let me know, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.